Hey guys, we are so excited for tonight's art lesson. We're gonna be doing tin foil doodling. We have alcohol ink markers, but you can also use Sharpies and tin foil. We are going to show you guys how to do a mermaid, but if you want to refer back to previous drawing videos, you could do a dragon or a unicorn. We have lots of different videos showing you how to draw an assortment of things. You could do a dog, lots of fun things. All right, so to start, we are going to grab some mermaid type colors. Now, if you're into underwater ocean themes, you can absolutely do this without a mermaid. You can do octopuses, you can do starfish or sea turtles. So many awesome options. All right, ready to get started? Yep, yep. Okay. To start our drawing, we are going to draw the mermaid tail, which is gonna be pretty big. So draw a curve right here, curve right here, here, okay, there's the tail. I'm gonna use a darker color so it'll show up better and start creating some scales. I'm gonna fill in those empty spots with green. And then for the top of the fin, there's usually some lines instead of scales. I'm gonna take some green and go in between those scales. I'm not sure about m Sharpies, but these alcohol ink markers, you can blend them. So when I put green next to blue, it moves the ink around still, and I can mix them together if I want, which is pretty awesome. Use a lighter blue mixed in there.
added a little bit more movement to the tail rather than just a stiff shape right there. So I curved the lines a little bit more. That might help if your mermaid tail is looking a little stiff and some darker lines to the outer edges. So now what I'm going to do is start drawing some underwater animals like octopus and sea turtles. It'd be good to keep the sea animals a lighter color if they're in the background so that the focus is on the mermaid tail. Trying to use as many colors as possible to make it look really colorful and fun. These markers are super fun too because when they dry, you can go back over them and add another layer of color to make the colors even deeper.
you guys have fun? Yeah. Good. Me too, actually. I found this really, really fun. Ooh, what colors did you use? I see a little octopus down there. I, just, I even painted a princess by a seaweed I want. Seaweed? Oh, that's a good idea. I should add seaweed to mine. I added how bright our light is shining. So if we didn't have it on, it would be dark in here. So, <laughs> I had a lot of fun, actually. These markers are really fun to use on aluminum foil because you can blend the colors together and create new ones. Very, very fun. I also made another one. Ooh, it's an octopus. started an octopus. Very cool. Well, thank you guys, as always, for joining us for our art lessons. We love doing these with you so much. It's been so fun. Um, this is actually our last week of art lessons that we're doing on YouTube. But we will have our own little website where you can subscribe. And it'll be only $5 a month if you want to join. That's like not even a dollar per lesson. We'll be doing one or two per week. And um, you'll get to hang out with us and follow along for all sorts of different art lessons. And be sure to check out our new subscription boxes. We'll post a link in our video description so you can check those out. We have them for kids and for adults. So we have a premium box for adults. And that is more home DIY projects. Um, to decorate your home with. I like to call it more functional crafts to decorate your house. And then we have a mini kit for adults, which is more um, small art projects and crafts for adults. And we have a mini box for kids, which is actually whatever fun uh, art supplies we use for our art lessons get shipped to you for that month. And then you'll get um, four to six art lessons to go with those art supplies and another premium box for kids that shows um that gives you a whole craft project and all the supplies to do it and special personalized goodies to go straight to your door we like to call it happy mail right i almost said a happy meal happy mail is what we like to call it. So it's a surprise every month. We send out little teasers so you can get an idea of what's going to be in the boxes. But it's a surprise and you get some fun uh, things added to your box. So as you can tell, we love doing these art lessons and we don't want to stop doing them. So um, make sure you check it out and hang out with us on uh, our website. Alright guys, have a wonderful night 